to pray, please. It's the only voice I hear that makes a difference, and I follow one day at a time. Yes, one more time. His voice makes a difference. Consecrate yourself in the presence of the Lord.
is the land my heart sings its praise again. Hallelujah, your praise the land. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From 
from the bottom of my heart to the depths, to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Completely, yes. Completely, yes. My soul. My soul. Say yes. I love you. I love you. Lord, I love you. I love you. I love you from, from the bottom of my heart. To the the Lord. Shall we worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Shall we worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Come on, somebody who praise him. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us all stand to our feet at this time. I will enter in his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. Sign me up for the Christian Jubilee.
bless the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Come on, somebody praise him. What a mighty God serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Come on and just give God glory. Give God glory. Come on, lift up the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody praise him. Come on, somebody praise him. Come on, somebody praise him. Oh, this is the fifth night of the feast. Praise him. Look what the Lord has done. Oh, look what the Lord has done. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody praise Jesus. Oh, somebody praise Jesus. Oh, somebody praise Jesus. Somebody praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Remain standing. As I invite our minister, Elliston, to pray the opening prayer for us. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Does the church stand? Praise the Lord. Good night, each and every one. Pleasant good night. Oh, your head with me. Glory to Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise. Almighty God, we give you honor tonight. Oh God, we give you glory. Almighty God, we bless your name for you are worthy. From the uprising of the sun even to the going down of the same. Oh God, your name is to be praised. And tonight, oh God, we come to lift up your name. We come to magnify your name. Oh God, we come to call upon your name tonight. Oh God Almighty, the psalmist said, what shall I render unto you tonight? For all your many, many blessings uh, that you have bestowed upon us. Uh, oh God, we are going to take the cup of salvation. Uh, and mighty God, we are going to call upon your name. Uh, for the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run in, oh God, and they are saved. Uh, tonight, oh God, I pray uh, for our moderator. Oh God, I pray tonight for the one that is going to read the scripture. Oh God, I pray for our bishop, oh God, that will bring the undiluted word, oh God, to your people. Father God, I pray that you will touch him from the crown of his head, oh God, to the very soul of his feet. Mighty God, I pray for strength in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that as you equipped him, oh God, uh, as he opened his mouth, almighty God, uh, you will take a life call from off your altar. And mighty God, you will touch his lip uh, like you touch Isaiah. And mighty God, you will let him speak, thus say the Lord tonight. Uh, so right now, God, I pray uh, for the anointing uh, upon the manservant. Uh, I pray for a double portion tonight. Uh, I pray tonight, oh God, uh, that he will soar, oh God. Uh, I pray tonight, almighty God, uh, that you will give him hinds feet, oh God. Uh, oh God, I pray tonight for the congregation. I pray for the unsaved tonight. Uh, I pray tonight will be a night uh, when souls will run to Christ. Uh, I pray tonight when somebody will cry out and say, uh, I am healed. I am delivered. I am being set free uh, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. Uh, tonight, oh God, take up a board. Uh, Mighty God of Daniel, rest upon your people tonight. Oh God, I pray right now that mighty God, you will sanctify this place with your power, with your glory, and with your anointing.
anointing. Oh God, let your glory fill this place tonight. And mighty God, I pray that if there is any sick amongst us, oh God, they will be healed. I pray right now that if there is any depressed, oppressor, oh God Almighty, if there is any sorrowful tonight, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will deliver. Daniel, God, show up tonight. Elijah, God, show up tonight. The God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, show up tonight. And let your people be delivered. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now that you will hasten the footstep of those that are coming. Cancel every plan and every accident right now. Mighty God, I leave everything into your hand. Father God, whatever I fail from asking you, don't fail from granting to your people tonight. Oh God, as we come with our cup, turn up to receive your, your blessing, to receive your undiluted word tonight. Let our heart be receptive to your word. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Minister Elliston, for doing our opening prayer. You may be seated. Brothers and sisters, it is a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. One I don't take lightly. Amen. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon and coming King. The writer, somebody said, had it not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? But we are in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we can lift holy hands Hallelujah. and magnify him. I greet everyone in their respective places, pastors, bishops, my own pastor in her absence. Bless the name of the Lord visiting friends we're in for a treat tonight and we're going to worship the lord in the beauty of holiness shall we praise the name of the lord shall we praise the name of the lord when israel out of bondage came a sea before them lay bless the name of the lord that's what we're going to be singing tonight please stand as we put our hands together and our voices will blend as we sing When Israel out of bondage came, I see before them lay. The Lord reached down his mighty hand and he rolled the sea away. 350. Then forward still, it's Jehovah's will, and all the billows dash and pray. With our conquering tread, we will push ahead and roll the sea away. Before me was a sea of sin, so great I fear to pray. My heart's desire, my heart's desire, the Savior rest and roll me away. Then forward still, it's Jehovah's will, and all the big pillows dash and spray. With a conquering trend, we will push ahead and roll the sea away. When sorrows start, when Sorrows start like stormy waves were dashing o'er my way. 
Again the Lord in mercy came. Again the Lord in mercy came. And he rolled the sea away. Then forward still, then forward still, it's Jehovah's will. And though the pillows dash and spray, with our conquering trend, we will push ahead and roll the sea away. And when I reach the sea of death for me, that grace I pray. I know the Lord will quickly come. I know the Lord will quickly come. And he rolled the sea, the sea away. Then forward still, then forward still. It's Jehovah's will. And though the billows dash and spray. With a conquering trend, we will push ahead and roll the sea away. Verse 1. When Israel out of bondage a sea before them lay. The Lord reached down his mighty hand and he rolled the sea, the sea of Then forward still, it's Jehovah's will and the billows dash and spray. With a conquering trend, we will push ahead and roll the sea. He rolled the sea away. 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 He rolled. He rolled. He roll, he roll the sea, the sea away. With a courage and we will push, push ahead and roll the sea away. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, and when I reach the sea of death, for needed grace I pray, I know the Lord will quickly come and roll the sea of You may be seated. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Already the house is almost filled. And so I'm going to use wisdom and just ask the members of the distinguished clergy to join me on the platform. Bless the name of the Lord. I have about four six, eight seats. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Climbing me, climbing, moving me, move, moving up the narrow way. Climbing me, climbing, moving me, moving, moving up the narrow way. Climbing me, climbing, moving me, move, moving up the narrow way. Climbing me, climbing, moving me, moving up the narrow way. The road is rough, the road is rough. Ha. Come on, ministers. Bless the name of the Lord. We are to lead by example, you know, man. Come on, it's very fast.
climb in me, climb in, move in me, move, move in up the narrow way. Climb in me, climb in, move in up the narrow way. The road is rough, the road is rocky. Hallelujah, me not show up, Jackie. Me not backside, me not turn aside. The heavenly home. the name of the Lord. At this time, our sister Daly is coming to read the night's lesson, which is taken from Romans chapter 10. She'll read from verse 1 to the end. Bless the name of the Lord. The road, the road is rocky. I'm in up the narrow way. The old dragon with the sword, they block off the road. Climbing up the narrow way. Lord, bless the Lord. As God, holy word. I'll read it in the name of the Father, and the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Ghost. Brethren, my heart desire and prayer to God for Israel that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to the knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submit themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law, for righteousness is to everyone that believeth. For Moses described it, the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth these things shall, be, shall live by them. But righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, say, not in th thine heart, who shall ascend into the heaven, that it, that it is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that it might bring up Christ again from the dead. But what said it, the word is, that is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart, that, it, that is the word of, of faith which we preach, that if th thou shalt confess with thine mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with, thine, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confesseth is made, confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, Who shall, who, whosoever believeth on him shall, shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the law and the, sorry, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is all unto all that call upon him. 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'll read that again. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Who then shall they call on? him in whom they have not believed and who shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how shall they heard without a preacher 
And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For, for Isaiah said, uh, said, Lord, who, who had believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their, their, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the end of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? For Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people. And by a, a foolish nation, I will anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and said, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. Ending. But to Israel, he said, all day long, I have stretched forth my hand unto a disobedient and, and, gain, and again saying people. Here ending the reading of God's holy word, we honor it by saying glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, now and shall ever be, world without end. Amen. Bless the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we're going to be taking the welcome at this time, which will be done by our minister Ware. She's going to be coming at this time to make us feel much more welcome than we already do. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. The word of God said how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen. Praise God. What a privilege to be in the house of the Lord another time. Amen. We have been toiling since Sunday, but what a blessing. Amen. Praise God. What a blessing. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. You know, at nights when I go home, I am so full, I can't even sleep. Amen. <laughs> praise God, praise God. It's a wonderful blessing to be in the house of the Lord again and to welcome you. Tonight, I greet our pastor, amen, in our midst one more time, pastor folks. Amen. Praise God. And our assistant pastor, Pastor Forbes, in his absence. Amen. Let me take time out to just welcome those that have been toiling with us since Sunday, some of you since Monday and Tuesday. Amen. Praise God. And I just want to welcome those that are here for the very first time. Amen. Praise God. And for the first time tonight, we have with us Pastor Jabison from City Mission and the group that comes along with her. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We greet you. Amen. Praise God. Missionary Williams, God bless you. City of faith. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Sister June. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Bishop Isaac and Pastor Isaac from Lighthouse New Day. And brethren that came along with him. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Praise God. And for the first time, Pat, Pastor Ratri, amen, from Ministry Without Boundary. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. And also with us from Power of Faith, Tracy and Virgo, amen. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. And to all those that are watching, amen, on Facebook and YouTube, may God continue to bless you. We welcome you tonight, amen, to enter another time into the presence of the Lord to hear what the Lord has for us. Whenever the Lord shows up, there is a transformation, amen. There is a change, and you are at the right place and at the right time. 
So at this time, may God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you. Praise God. We're going to be taking some greetings. Bless the name of the Lord. A country where no twilight shadows deepen. Unending day where night shall never be. A city where no storm clouds ever gather. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. I saw Naga sit on Kami. What will it be when we get over yonder and join the throngs around the glassy sea? Oh, we'll meet all ones and crown Christ forever. Oh, 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 this is just what heaven means to me. Oh, a country where no twilight shadows deepen. An ending day where night shall never be. Oh, a city where no storm clouds ever gather. Oh, 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 it's just what heaven means to me. What will it be when we get over yonder? Hallelujah! And join the throne around the glassy sea. Yes, we'll meet love once and crown Christ forever. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. A place where there is no misunderstanding. Hallelujah. And from all enmity and strife we're free. No unkind words can wound the heart I've spoken. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. Come on, church of God. Oh, what will it be when we get over yonder and join the throngs around the glassy sea? Oh, yes, we'll meet our loved ones and crown Christ forever. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. And when at last we see the face of Jesus, before whose image other loved ones flee, and when they crown him Lord of Lords, I'll be there. Oh, church of God, this is just what heaven means to me. What will it be when we get over yonder? Hallelujah! And join the trance around the glassy sea. Oh, yes, we'll meet our loved ones and crown Christ forever. Oh, hallelujah, this is us, what heaven means to me. What will it be? What will it be when we get over yonder? Oh, yes, and join the throngs around the glassy sea. We'll meet our loved ones and crown Christ forever. Oh, yeah, 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 this is just what heaven means to me. What will it be when we get over yonder? I feel God. And join the throne around 
the glass you see. We'll meet our loved ones and crown Christ forever. Oh, this is just what heaven needs to be. Oh, this is just what heaven needs to be. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is just what heaven means to me. Tell somebody else. Oh, whoa, 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 this is just what heaven means to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is just what heaven. What will it be when we get over yonder? Oh, and join the throngs around the glassy sea. Yes, we'll meet our loved ones and crown Christ forever. Church of God, this is just heaven. Is me. Oh, 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 this is just what heaven means. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is just. I said, this is just. This is just what heaven means to me. Ah, uh, because all of this, all the glitz and glamour will pass away. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to take, praise God, three greetings tonight. A minute each. Bless the name of the Lord. And you will come in this order. Our pastor Jeb Jebison, Bishop Isaac, and our pastor Ratchery will come afterwards. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to bother Pastor Isaac to give us a number before the preacher comes to us tonight. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Please come in that order. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Just raise your hands and wave to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. For he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. To him be all the glory. To him be all the praise. I greet the angel of this house. Praise the name of the Lord. Pastor folks, all the ministers in your respective places, saints of God. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. Hallelujah, our soon coming King. We are here tonight because there are so that need to be saved. And as the lesson has been read tonight, Paul said that his heart desire and his prayer to God is that Israel might be saved. And it is the same cry tonight. Hallelujah. God careth that none should perish, but that all should see and have repentance that all should come to him. Tonight I'm glad that I am saved. And if you are not saved tonight, I entreat you, seek the Lord before it is too late. And those that are saved, 
You might be going through trials, testing. So many things are going on around us that will cause men hard to fear and tremble. But I want to assure you tonight that we serve a mighty God. A God that is well able to keep that which you have committed unto him against that day. And so tonight, saints of God, just keep pressing on. Hallelujah. Paul said, forgetting the things that are behind me, I press towards the mark of the price of the high calling that is to be found in Christ Jesus. Keep pressing on. God bless you. Bless God. Hallelujah. Just wave one hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. We bring greetings to you tonight from Lighthouse New Day in Mount Vernon. Those that came with us, amen. Lighthouse New Day, just stand and wave your hands. Thank God for Pastor Isaac, minister. Amen. God bless you, Palmer. And everyone, God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. I must greet the queen of this house and pastor, pastor folks. God bless her. God bless the young man, amen, who are leading. You know, I was taking stock of the, amen, of the crowd. And I says, amen, if there was, a, amen, just the men tonight, we would not have no service. Praise the Lord. So ladies, keep up your good work. We're here to pray, amen, push the fire that Israel might be saved. Come on now. Keep up your good work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Full truth. You're doing great work. And you can't come down. So stay on the mountaintop. Pushing the fire. We're here to push with you. That Israel might be saved. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Worship God. Worship God. Worship the great I am. God is worthy to be praised. Bless God tonight. I bring greetings to you from Ministry Without Boundaries. We're an online entity. Praise the name of the Lord. And tonight I just want to greet the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Greetings to the angel of the house, Pastor Folks. Praise God. All ministerial protocols observe. Bless God. Tonight, I don't know what you come to do tonight, but I come to praise the name of the Lord. I come to lift up the name of God. He took me to sleep last night. He woke me up this morning. He took me to work, and he brought me back safe, and he brought me here in his house. We are here to lean on each other tonight. We're one body. We are not divided. Religion is not going to take us to heaven. It's not about who is church, who is Pentecostal, and who is uh, Catholic. Praise the name of God. What it boils down to, when he comes, when he puts in his appearance, will we be ready to go with him? Too long we have been getting ready. It's time for us to what? To be ready and wait in. And so for the entire week, uh, Pastor Folks, I received a good report. I said, I received a good report. I received a report of the wonderful food that got dished out right here. And guess what? I came to get mine. I'm not going home hungry. I'm going to go home filled up with the word of God. So let us put our hands and our hearts together and let us worship God. Not only worship God, but let us worship God in spirit and in truth. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you very much, Pastor. We're going to take the night's offering. Bless the name of the Lord. So while you get ready and the media team go ahead and broadcast the online ways of giving. We do have Zell and Cash App. Bless the name of the Lord. Cash App being dollar sign for truth DX. And Zell being 914 
3625409. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we ready, ushers? While the blood runneth warm in my veins. While the blood runneth warm in my veins. You better get salvation down in your soul. While the blood runneth warm in your veins. Oh, why the blood runneth warm in your veins? Why the blood runneth warm in your veins? Yes, you better get salvation down in your soul. Why the blood runneth warm in your veins? Oh, why the blood and it's warm in your veins. Why the blood run it warm in your veins? You better have salvation down in your soul. Why the blood run it warm in your veins? Oh, why the blood run it warm? In your veins, why the blood runneth warm in your veins? You better get salvation down in your soul. Why the blood runneth warm in your veins? Oh, why the blood runneth warm? In your veins, stand church. While the blood runneth warm in your veins, you better have salvation, oh, down in your soul. While the blood runneth warm in your veins. Minister, where we'll bless the night's offering. Praise God. Oh God, our Lord, how excellent is your name. Creator of the heaven and the earth, we adore you tonight and we thank you. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because you are God. Abraham call you Jehovah Jireh. Lord God Almighty, our provider. Tonight we thank you, Lord God, for the provision that you have made. Lord God Almighty, and as we offer up, O oh God Almighty, this provision, the offering unto you tonight, God, we pray, O oh God, that you will consecrate it, Lord God. Ah, God Almighty, we pray, God Almighty, that you open up the windows of heaven and pour back, oh God Almighty, a blessing unto your people. Let there be a return unto them, O oh Lord God Almighty. I pray tonight, Father, as you consecrate it, Lord God, unto the furtherance of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated. Bless the name of the Lord. It is time for brothers and sisters. Are we ready? Are we ready to feast at the table? Bless the name of the Lord. I heard somebody said earlier that they are so full that they can't sleep. Amen. But you know, it's the reverse with the, the, the temporal food. When you eat the temporal food, my God, come hell or high water, you want to sleep. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. At this time, our pastor, um, Isaac, will be rendering a number. It's the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. It is a good thing for brethren to dwell together in unison. Glory to God. God gave me a voice to sing. But Satan wants to take it away. Even today I went to the voice doctor because my voice has been worse going three months plus. But I said in the name of Jesus, I claim my victory. I just want to go to the church. Hallelujah, the church of Jesus Christ. The church is one foundation. I did not say churches. 
I said the church. Glory to God. I greet all the pastors, the bishops, hallelujah, ministers, defied people. Hallelujah in his holy name. Glory to God. For years I traveled a road all wrong. My heart I lost every joy, every song. Then grace placed me where I belong. But God's mercy rewrote my life. Oh, God's mercy he rewrote my life. Oh, God's mercy. He rewrote my life. I could have fallen my soul cause way down. But God mercy rewrote my life. My mistakes would turn into miracles. Every tear was turned into joy my sins forgiven a new name is written for God mercy rewrote my life oh God mercy he rewrote my life. Oh, God mercy rewrote my life. I should have fallen my soul cause me down. But God mercy rewrote my life. Yes, my mistakes would turn into me. Down. But God knows. 
Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Stand everywhere. Mercy. He wrote, not life, but all of us life. Mercy. Had it been for mercy, where would we be tonight? Lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Lift your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Praise God at this time. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the man of God who has been toiling with us since Sunday night. Praise God. I ask pray his strength as he pray as he bring the words to you from home pray along with him preach with him and those of you who are prior warriors just continue to pray strength hallelujah because he needs it amen, amen. praise god so at this time i have great pleasure in introducing to you no other person than our speaker for the night who has been toiling endlessly no other person than Bishop Steve Epburn. Put your hands together for him. God bless you, man of God. For I am persuaded God will see me through I am persuaded God will see me through I never doubt Oh hallelujah I only trust him Thank you Lord He specializes in things so impossible, and I am persuaded God will see me through. I am persuaded God will see you through. I never doubt. Oh dear. Thank you, Lord. I, I only trust Him. He specializes in things so impossible. And I am persuaded. God Persuaded, God, God will see, see me through. Carry me through, Lord. I, I never tell. Oh, oh, hallelujah. I, I only trust Him. He specializes in things. So impossible, and I am persuaded God will see me through. Oh, I am persuaded God will see me through. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is for somebody tonight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I only trust him. He specializes in things so impossible. And I am persuaded God Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. You may 
be seated. Amen. Please don't. Please don't bring the instruments higher than the vocals. Amen. The instruments must always be a little bit lower than the, the voices. Amen. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout a praise tonight. Somebody shout hallelujah tonight. I am persuaded that God will see me through. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody just lift your hand and give God a praise tonight. Hallelujah. I am persuaded. I am convinced that God will see me through. I never doubt him. I only trust him. For he specializes in things so impossible. I am persuaded. God bless the right and singer, Sister Lorraine Williams. Amen. As she penned those words and bring them through. Amen. With music, with melody, the lyrics so applicable at different times in our lives. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've got a roof up above me. I've got a good place to sleep. There's food on my table and shoes on my feet. You gave me your love, Lord. Don't rush him, don't rush him. And, and a fine family. family. Thank you, Thank you Lord, Lord, for your, your blessings. blessings on me. The other mics are louder than mine. I've got a roof up above me. I've got a good place. Can I minister tonight? I'm not just singing for entertainment. I'm ministering to somebody. Food on my table. And shoes on my feet. You gave me alone, Lord, 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 in the fine family. There were days when some of us couldn't sing this song. Thank you, Holy you, Ghost. Lord, Thank you, Holy Ghost. For your blessing on me. You know, the songwriter say, You know, I'm not, I'm not worthy. worthy. And these clothes, they are not new. I don't have much money. But Lord, I, I have you. Oh, hallelujah. Really matters. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord, for your blessing on me. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. So often, every now and then, we have to go back towards singing these songs. Hallelujah. 
You see, there are some persons who can't connect with those who are coming from humble or low beginnings. Because there are some persons when some of us preachers preach about humble beginnings and have gone through certain challenges. They cannot connect because they have not experienced it. They may have been a little bit fortunate than some of us. Amen. But though they may not have been through situations like some of us, but they have had their own situations. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. There are some people who cannot connect to say that they have been to school without shoe or they have had one suit or that because they were born in certain kind of situation where parents or, or, or family members would have had um, resources to take care of them in their early stage. And so they have never been through that. But they have had different experiences of situations that they can connect to say, I have been through so much to know that God is more than enough. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. So I greet Reverend folks in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The other leaders of this house and those who are visiting with us. Amen. From different uh, churches or um, faith-based groups. I just recognize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I will not put myself into any difficult position in trying to identify and to call all the apostles and bishops and pastors and uh, prophets and prophetess. All I will say, servants of the Most High God, I greet you well in Jesus' name. Amen, somebody. Praise God. I will only make mention that I'm always happy and proud to have persons that I've connected with for many years, personally and otherwise. Amen. In the settings like these, especially when I travel for so far and they have traveled from far too to connect with me who have come from far. <laughs> Amen. I bless God for them. I bless God for uh, sister Chin and her daughter who have traveled from Brooklyn at one of our sister churches, the Urban, the Ebenezer Urban Ministries. That's the New Testament of God. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. And Sister Brown and her daughter also, they have traveled all the way from Brooklyn, New York, to come up here. Amen. That's about 45 minutes or an hour to get here, and that's a whole lot, amen, to come and to be in this place, amen, and I'm like the humanity, amen, because they are coming from a very nice place that hold over 2,000 members, so to travel to come here, amen, <laughs> and to worship with us, amen, in this small space, it shows that we are serving one God, yeah. irrespective of how big our small, medium, our churches, our sanctuary are, we still can fellowship with one another. Amen, somebody. Because it's not more so about the building. It's about God. Because there are some people who miss the point and start to talk about the building. Amen. Amen. In me, Christ build a church. If you go back, when I mean, you do um, the doctrine on pneumatology, which is the teachings on the Holy Spirit. You realize how he talks about the different churches. Amen. We are classified as a church. You know that where we come together, when we gather like this, we are called a church. Amen. Amen. The place that we worship in is called a church. Too. Come on, somebody. So there are different definitions for church. Amen, somebody. Praise God. And so we are happy that we can fellowship one with another. Because when we get to heaven at the marriage supper, all the saints shall gather at the Lord's assembly. Amen, somebody. 
all the saints. I was saying to my nephew yesterday as we drove along the highway, I'm saying, I said to him that the thing that I'm happy about in that the scripture and the Bible never lie. Amen. Nowhere in scripture you find a lie. It's all truth. It's a literature. Amen. It's word. It's men who are inspired to write. Amen, somebody. And it says, listen to me, man. When I see the blood. So when you're born of the water, the spirit and the blood. Amen. That's why we believe in baptism. Somebody say baptism. baptism. Greek word for baptism is baptizo. Which means to be submerged. To go under water. Not sprinkle. Go under. Somebody praise God. <laughs> It's another teaching. <laughs> Amen. And that's why I tell everybody that, guess what? I am an Adventist. Don't kill me. Before you speak in tongues, listen to teaching. I am an Adventist. I didn't say I worship on Saturday. I say I'm an Adventist. Because I believe in the second coming of Jesus. I am a Baptist. Because I believe in the baptism. Somebody praise God. Worship no man. I'm an apostolic because I believe in the Pentecostal fire. Somebody shout hallelujah. I am a Catholic because I believe in the universal church. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Amen, amen. It's teaching and we have to understand. So when people come to us to contradict us and to, 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 to talk to us about some things. You, you apply that first and then you'll realize how, how quick they back up. I'm a Jehovah witness because I witness to people about Jehovah. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ah, oh God. And you see, when you come in contact with the theological seminary and you start to Learn from, from, from others because there are some persons who give against theological training and that you must this and that. It have its place because Paul learned and sat at the feet of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. And we, I didn't go to Bible school to learn to preach or to be a pastor. I get a calling. And I went to Bible school to sharp my knowledge and deep my understanding so I can be able to dissect the word. But I have that got the anointing to preach. Bible school not teach me to preach. It only help me to sharp my skills and my knowledge that when I preach, amen, I don't preach nonsense and lead the people astray. Because woe unto the prophet and the pastors that lead the flock astray. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Somebody. Yeah. Praise God. Get it good. It's chipping a little bit. Let's turn to a word from the Bible. And I always open by giving you a little bit of um, real deal. Thank God you didn't say big deal. But real deal. Yeah. Because... The big deal is, will, will cause you to get a bit of weight and excess fat. So that's why we don't deal with the big deal. <laughs> but the real deal. Not even the bucket. <laughs> the leg, not the thigh. Not the hot wings. <laughs> it's the real deal. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Church is about fellowship. Church. Relationship. It's about fun too. Yeah, some people come at church, they're too safe. They're too sanctified. They're too anointed. They can't smile. Because <laughs> they are so fixed on heaven that their face is even so straight that they say, Lord, if you come tonight, I want to be. And the Lord return, he must find me smiling. Somebody shout the name of the Lord. <laughs> Woo! Glory to Look at your neighbor, says, smile a while and give your face a rest. Amen. It takes more muscles to frown than how much it takes to smile. Amen. Come on, somebody, worship God. <laughs> Amen. And that's why so many of us who are almost 50 can look so young. Amen. We learn to smile. And when, 
I don't let church people and other people business bother me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have too much to do, I want. <laughs> Amen, somebody. I don't let it bother me. It comes and we address it and move on. I'm not going to my bed with it. When I go to my bed, I go to sleep. Somebody pray. When I wake up tomorrow, I deal with something else and we go back to sleep again. Come on, somebody. Because church people and church business and people problem, we give you a guide. You know, guide. <laughs> give you a guide. Uh, ulcer stomach. And acid reflux. And gastroenteritis because you sit down and worry about church people business that you don't even eat and when you take a stack, you stress out. I uh, make Jesus Church stress me out of a Jesus Church. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. You don't have to believe everything that happens. Say that, that's me, you know. I, I, I am like Barbados. There's never a dull moment in Barbados. There's never a dull moment in Steve. Saint Matthew eleven twenty five to thirty. Point your hand and say, "Touch him, Lord. Let his head come back." So you believe, say it gone. So that's why you say it. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> amen. Amen. St. Matthew eleven twenty five 25 to 30. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent. And hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all he that labor. And I are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and he shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. May I speak to us, brothers and sisters, from the topic, Jesus Christ, help for the burdened. Jesus, help for the burdened. Somebody praise God. Matthew eleven twenty-five 25 through to 30 is a passage where Jesus speaks about finding rest. And taking up his yoke. Promising rest for those who come to him. In historical context. Jesus likely addressed. The burdens people faced. Under religious laws and traditions. Hello get that right. In the context in which it, this passage was written. He was writing to address, come on somebody, the burdens that people faced under religious laws and traditions. And so he offered spiritual relief by inviting them to follow his teachings. Somebody praise God. The passage highlights Jesus' compassion for those who are weighed down by societal expectations and religious obligations. My God, somebody help me here. What a Jesus. What a passage. It highlights Jesus' compassion, Pastor, for those who are weighed down by expectations, societal expectations and religious obligations. Because even in this contemporary era, there are so many of us that are burned down by societal expectations. 
Because we are trying to meet, fulfill, and re meet up to society's expectation. There are even some today who are burned down with religious obligations. Tied up. Get confused. Hello? Don't even know where they stand. Because sometimes you find some here and the next minute you hear that they are over there. Mixed up. Today they are blowing, they are trumpeting one call and tomorrow you realize they are gone again. They are swayed like the wind. Or swayed with the wind. Come on somebody. Hello? Whatever doctrines, whatever teachings we hold from the Bible. Amen. Let us be convinced that this is what I believe in. And you don't believe in one thing today and tomorrow you're saying another thing. It's hard for people to believe in you. As preachers and as teachers of the word of God and children of God, we must stick and stay with what we believe, teach, and practice. Or else those who are observing, those who are looking, those who are listening, are going to be a little bit confused as to what he or she believes in. And sooner or later, our messages and our declarations, persons will just listen and say, oh, last week he told me this. And this week he's telling me this. Then what is it that he's going to tell me the next week? Come on, somebody. And that's why we have to be certain as to what we believe in. And we have to know God for ourselves. And we have to know this scripture for ourselves. Come on, somebody help me here. Are you there, people of God? And we must stand for what we believe in. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. And so Jesus sought to address that kind of burden that humanity had taken upon themselves. To be burdened with societal expectations and religious obligations. It's often interpreted, brothers and sisters, as an invitation, the text. It's often uh, interpreted as an invitation for one to find uh, solace and peace by accepting Jesus' teachings and embracing a simpler and more spiritual, fulfilling way of life. Are you there, church? The text encourages people to find rest by aligning themselves with teachings and guidance. Somebody praise God. What we see in the text before us, what we see in this book, St. Matthew, is that Matthew the tax collector turned apostle recounts Jesus' actions and teachings to show us how God intends us to live and work in his new kingdom. As followers of Jesus Christ, we live in two worlds. We stand with one foot in the human world, where our work may be subject to unspoken expectations that may or may not be uh, in accordance with God's way. And at the same time, as Christians, we are subjects of God's kingdom, committed to his values and expectations. So in telling the story of Jesus, Matthew shows us how to navigate the human world using God's compass. Oh, somebody praise God. So in Matthew 11, John the Baptist send, or sends his disciples to ask Jesus, to ask if Jesus is really the Messiah. Come on now, church of God. Jesus gives them a specific answer to use in reassuring John that this is in verses 4 to 6. Somebody praise God. Take your time with me. Hello? Let's see what verses 4 to 6 says. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Come on, somebody. Oh, Lord, somebody praise God. 
Jesus was responding to John. When John had heard in the prison, Lord God, the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples, two of his brethren. Come on, somebody help me here. Two of his followers and said unto him, I though he that should come or do we look for another. And Jesus said, go back and tell John. Somebody praise God. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that he, oh, he upholds or commends John to the crowd. Come on, somebody. At the same time, John fulfills the prophecy about the one who would prepare the people for the Messiah. Because when you look at verses 10 to 15, you're going to take time. So we have to paint and look at the context before we can properly apply the verse 25 to 30. Lest we misapply these verses. Somebody praise God. So hear what verse 10 says. For this is he of whom is written. Behold, I send my messenger before thy face. We shall prepare thy way before thee. Truly I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Somebody praise God. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven Suffer it violence and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And he, if he will receive it, this is Elias which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear. Somebody praise God. This generation, though refused to hear John or Jesus, Deciding John had a demon. And Jesus was a glutton and a drunkard. According to verse 18 and 19. You see I'm coming down. You don't have to worry about me. For John came neither eating. Preacher. Nor drinking. And they say he hath a devil. Come on somebody help me here. The son of man came eating and drinking. And they say behold a man gluttonous. And a wine paper, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. Somebody praise God. Oh God, I love the word of God. Somebody take your time with me. So Jesus condemns the cities that refuse to repent. And thanks the Father for revealing the truth to little children. According to verses 20 to 27. Somebody praise God. And then what we find now to the passage that we have read is that he offers rest for those who are weary and burdened. Somebody praise God. What I have just done is to give you an outline, a breakdown of the entire chapter from verses 1 through to 27. And then I will pick up with verses 28 to 30 so you can understand and I hope by now. You would have seen where I am going or coming from. So in the last six verses, preachers, of St. Matthew eleven twenty five to 30, it begins with Jesus' prayer of thanks to his Father for hiding his, the truth from those thought to be wise by the world's standard. My God, somebody help me here. Those who thought to be wise... But they are only wise according to the world's standard. Somebody praise God. Instead, the gospel has been revealed to those the unbelieving world dismisses as virtual children. Hello, somebody. So Jesus declares that he and the Father know each other completely. And that he can reveal the father to anyone he chooses. He offers rest for the souls of all who are weighed down and weary. If they will take on his yoke. Saying that his burden is easy and light. Somebody praise God. Church may I ask the question. Are there times when we can't see how we are able to cope 
with everything that is happening in our lives. We feel all so burdened. Then another question. Have you ever felt concerned by a chain or series of events that appear to back you deeper and deeper into a situation from which you could see no escape? Oh, God Almighty. And then you say, oh, so burdened am I. Am I talking to somebody here tonight? Another question. Are there times when you are literally driven crazy with feelings of guilt and shame or helplessness and confusion. And then you say, oh, another burden. Somebody praise God. Come on, somebody. Don't kill me with question tonight, pastor. I won't kill you, but take one more. What about times when we have been thoroughly puzzled by the events in our lives? And I've been wondering what on earth has God in, has in store for me. Come on, somebody help me here. Oh, God Almighty. I say, what about times when we have been thoroughly puzzled by the events in our lives? And I've been wondering, pondering, hello, somebody, what on earth God has in store for me? Come on, somebody. Oh God, never we. And may I say this hurriedly. Do not count all afflictions that come upon us from the devil. Do not count all situations that we go through and say, devil come. Lord God, I just mess up some people's theology. Come on, somebody. Lord God, somebody help me here. Oh God, some things that we go through is only a test. Come on, somebody help me here. The devil tempts us, but Jesus tests us. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Jesus doesn't tempt his people. He tests us. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, Lord, write it down. Make note of it. And when you go back, ask your bishop. Say, I hear the bishop from Jamaica say it. I believe that at this time, when there are many people Burdened with one thing or another. It is good to sit at Jesus' feet. Once again and hear his invitation say. Come unto me. Oh somebody worship God. Am I talking to the church? Hallelujah. Isn't it good? Isn't it comforting? Isn't it reassuring? Isn't it consoling? That when we are going through our situations that we can draw ourselves and sit at the master feet and hear him repeat Matthew eleven twenty eight. Say, come, my child, come and pick me. Come, girl, I've got you. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. What comfort, what consolation, what hope it gives to the believer. When we know that we have somebody who is superior to us. Somebody who can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Saying to us, sit down here son. Relax yourself. I've got you. Somebody praise God. Somebody just lift your hand and give a praise. I said, lift your hand and give a praise in this cathedral. Somebody shout a praise one more time. Somebody shout a hallelujah one more time. Mm. Church, having said this, may I delve further into these final verses as I look at three points. Come on, somebody. Three points. I will try to look at during my discourse. One, the invitation from Jesus. The instruction given by Jesus. And the incentive from Jesus to all who come. Somebody praise God. So you're going to be looking at the invitation, the instruction, and the incentive. Somebody praise God. 
Hey God, hallelujah. What a preacher. So, where, Pastor, do I find the invitation? The invitation is right there in the beginning of verse 28. Because by the very word that opens the verse, it is a signifying and symbolizing that it is an invitation. Because it's a come to me. All who are weary and heavy laden. Are you seeing Romans 10, 13, and also verse 1 and the portions of the chapter? coming out here. Remember we said that Romans 10, 13, Jesus, uh, the Apostle Paul says, whosoever call on the name of the Lord. And remember we tell that whosoever has to do with any person. So in this text, Jesus is saying all, that means it includes everybody. Whosoever. Come to me. Whosoever are weary. Lord God, somebody help me here. What a teacher, what a teacher tonight. Somebody praise God. Whosoever that is weary and heavy laden, somebody praise God. Let's look at it. I'm going to break it down for you tonight. Word by word, this first verse. The word come in Greek is a due, duty, duty, D-E-U-T-E. Some may pronounce it different. It is an imperative particle of exhortation and incitement with the force of an imperative as it is a strong appeal on the will of another. Come on, somebody. I say when you say come, it is a strong appeal on the will of another. Not necessarily that the individual must comply or will respond. But by saying, come, you're appealing to the will of another. Come on, somebody. Am I talking to the church of God? What it does, it expresses the desire and compassionate heart of the Savior and his appeal for people to come to him as a relief from their oppression. Somebody praise God. When you hear, come to me, come on. When you hear, come, come on, somebody. The invitation, it is a call to turn from whatever, my God Almighty, we are presently depending on and come to him. Somebody praise God. Anything that one is depending on outside of God, come on, somebody. Oh, leave it and come. For those without the Savior, it is equivalent to a call. To believe in him. For those who are already believers. It is a call to follow him. As a committed disciple. So the verse speaks to the believer. And it addresses the unbeliever. Somebody praise God. It addresses the unbeliever. In that it is saying. You are without a savior. So I call you to come and believe. Come on somebody help me here. And it is to the believer. That those who are believing in him should now uh, uh, be more committed. Come on, somebody. Follow him with much more commitment. And it is a call to completely turn our lives over to him. So come. It is an appeal. A strong appeal. On the will of another. And the word come is what part of speech. Is what? Talk to me, no man. Then I go to school. You see how easy some people forget. Come, that's a verb. Come. Come on, that's somebody. It's an action word. Come on. Hello, somebody. Hello. So Jesus is calling us to action. Come on, that's somebody. Movement. Come on, somebody. Movement. That means you have to change location. Come on, somebody. Oh, God Almighty. You soon get to shout like what I say each night. Come, move from where you are. Change location. I am appealing to your will that where you are at present, you got to change location. You got to change your situation. Oh, God Almighty. Uh, uh, mentally, spiritually, psychologically, literally, or temporally, there got to be some movement because I have observed, I have noticed, says God, that you are not at the right place, that things aren't fine, and that you're going through so much. So he's saying, I invite you. I am inviting you. What a savior. 
And then when he says come, it is a verb. But then the word that follows come is to. And to is a preposition. Talk to me, church of God. And the word to here in the text is, is, is expressing close proximity. Watch me, you know. You better come with me, you know, church of God. When I leave you with this text, you must get something different from it. So it's a verb, proximity. So if he's inviting you, come on, now, somebody. You're going to ask where. He is saying, come in close proximity. Come closer. Oh, hallelujah. You are too far off. Oh, come on, somebody. So when he said, come, he's saying, listen to me, man. I realize you may be close, but your proximity, come on, come on. Get a little closer. It's a proposition expressing close proximity. It not only express close proximity, but something more. Intimate fellowship. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. It is used of the fellowship of the Son with the Father. We have here a call to an intimacy of fellowship. So he said, draw me close to you. Never let me go. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship God. I hear the Ira D. Sun kisses. Draw me nearer. Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Don't sleep on or leave the preacher. I him should I want to sleep, not you. So don't sleep, leave him. Somebody praise God. Draw me nearer. Somebody praise God. I read these song kisses. Draw me nearer. Come on, somebody. Nearer. Blessed Lord. To thy precious bleed inside. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody praise God. I am thine, oh Lord. Woo. I have heard thy voice. I feel an anointing. And he told thy love to me. That I long to rise in the arms of faith. And be closer drawn to thee. Oh, draw me nearer. Nearer. Oh, somebody wave your hand and say, draw me nearer. Pull me closer. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody worship God. Somebody, oh, hallelujah. I want to be close to you. Oh, somebody feel it. There's a hush over this place. There's a hush. There's a hush. There's an anointing. Somebody just wave your hand. Wave your hand in the house. Wave your hand in the house. Hallelujah. Somebody worship God. Come. There's a strong appeal on the will of another. Come in close proximity. For such a person to come into close proximity. Come and have fellowship with the Savior. Somebody praise God. Next. Find the word me. <laughs> That's a pronoun. So we have a verb, we have a preposition, and we have a pronoun. Come on, somebody. Pastor, we leave school a long time. I never know that I come to church to go back to English class. Come on, somebody help me here. It's quite relevant in understanding the scripture. So that means when we speak and we address it, and we, we do not misapply it. So me is a personal pronoun. Note that the Pharisees basically said, do as we say. Obey our system. But the Lord Jesus said, come to me. <laughs> Lord, help me here. That's for another teaching. What's the point? This seeks to further bring home one of the great concepts of Christianity that must be taught and grasped. Christianity is a relationship. Jesus Christ, somebody help me here. Can I preach it like I feel it? Can I preach like a bishop and an evangelist? Somebody praise God. Christianity is a relationship. Somebody praise God. A relationship with the person of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Christianity is not a cult. 
to a program to program somebody praise God he's not calling us to program he's not calling us to a system of religion not to a denomination or church group certainly not to pastor or some human figure Somebody praise God. It's to come and have a relationship. There are some ideologies and some teachings from some groups. Come on, now somebody see me as your priest. See me as your archbishop. Come and dust my shoes. Come and fan me. Come on, now somebody roll out the red carpet. Put me in the big chair. Come on, now somebody help me here. I have no time for that. Come on, now somebody that is like a Nebuchadnezzar system. That is like a Herod system. We must move ourselves so the people can see God and have a relationship with God. People who do this doesn't have a relationship with God. What they have is a relationship with the leader and not with God. For when the leader feel the relationship mash up. Oh, somebody worship God. So when we plan crusade, and when we have soul winning exercise and initiatives and some things like these in the church, we are not saying come to the pastor, come to the bishop, and we start preach about I, 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 I. Some I need to come out of some sermons. Some me need to come out of some sermons and put in Jesus. For when the people see Jesus, Lord God Almighty, everything will be settled. When the people have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all their concerns, all their issues will be addressed. And Jesus never fail us. Pastor fail, Bishop fail, Prophet fail, Prophetess fail, Archbishop fail. Come on, somebody. Missionary fail, musician fail. Choir member feel, choir mother feel. Come on, somebody. People who have more tongues than Peter, who have been to Pentecost, they do feel. Come on, somebody. But Jesus never fed. Is the same yesterday. You are helping me here, man. The same yesterday. Come to Jesus. And have a relationship with Jesus. I'm not saying that you shouldn't love your pastor. And you should not appreciate your leader. But careful that you don't put them as idol or above God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Go back to Deuteronomy 10, 11. Tell us that you must not have any other God. Somebody praise God. Love your pastor, love your prophet, love your leaders. Come on, somebody, but let them know that their secondary God is primary. Somebody praise God. Love them and tell them, I will pay my tithes and my offering for the development and the advancement and the winning of souls and the expansion of the work and that you can be able to come to church and have a good meal. But don't expect me or expect the church to put you above God. And that's why so many of our you see, so many of our faith-based groups are failing. Because men have taken on themselves to become some semi-gods. Oh God Almighty, I pray that God will look down and drop a fireball from heaven in that kind of system and mash it up. For if he be lifted up, talk to me, church of God. From this earth, God must be lifted up. Let me give you Perhaps there's somebody who was expecting me to use certain terms or, re or refer to a particular scripture. 
the one that says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the son of man be lifted up. Let me give you the interpretation of that. Moses lifted up the serpent and the rod. And he said, even so as Moses bring it up on the rod, so will the son of man be outstretched on a wooden cross. Lord God Almighty, come on, somebody. Hello. And he said, Pastor, you're gone with me now. Because all this time I had a different understanding. Of As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, bring it up and his wrath come on us, somebody. Even so will the Son of Man be outstretched on a wooden cross. And that symbolizes healing of soul and deliverance. That is why, let me go again. Teachings again. When you look at the pharmacy, the symbol for the pharmacy is a serpent wrapped around a pole. Come on, somebody help me. It's a snake wrapped around a pole. It symbolizes healing. It symbolizes something. Come on, it's not dynamic. It's not demonic. Come on, somebody. It is coming from way back. Symbolizes healing. It symbolizes deliverance. That if you come to the pharmacy, the products that you can get, amen, you can get healing and all of that. The ambulance system, care. It's about care. It's about support. It's about comfort and consolation. Lord God. Somebody praise God. It's teaching it. <laughs> Help me, Church of God people. Christianity is a relationship with the person of Jesus Christ. Too often what we find is that mentors end up cloning their mentees or subordinates rather than developing Christ-like people. So you're mentoring the person, but sooner or later what you realize is that when the mentee walk in, you have your wonder if a What's your name, Elder? Remind me. Bishop Alim. So you're, it's not Bishop Alim, but the walk, the talk, everything, every behavior is sound like him. Look like him because you have so cloned your mentee that you can't even know. Come on, now, somebody. Somebody help me now. You see this man. What's your name, sir? Huh? Brother Mitchell. But all you're seeing, the voice, the sound, the operation, the conduct. Bishop, duplicate. Come on, now somebody help me here. Yes, we must mentor. Yes, we must give support. Come on, now, but we have to be still be careful how much we allow our mentee to copy. Because you want, still want them to be them, them true self. Lord God. Lose the church now. We have to cancel the invitation. Next invitation. Bless you. I'm happy me day here already. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. When you look at the scripture, you know, Paul mentored Timothy. But come on, somebody. Timothy was careful enough. Not to copy all. Move like and do all the things like Paul. Come on somebody, help me now. Let's go down to, let's go down to Ephesus. Let's go down to Ephesus. When Paul anointed Timothy and sent him down to Ephesus, you know. And he reached down there and started to do ministry. The people in Ephesus said, no sir. And this is not the way how Paul do it. You know, so like Paul. You don't do the things like Paul. Come on, no somebody. A Paul, where we want. Come on, no somebody. Until here, Paul. Here, Timothy, now. I'm going to write a letter. And he wrote back to Paul. He said, greetings and salutation. Like a regular letter. And he said, listen, my man. Uh, the ministry down here. 
Come on, now somebody. The people want more of you. They say, boy, I am not like you. Go back and read First and Second Timothy. Come on, somebody. He complained about ministry in Ephesus because he said the people were not readily accepting of him because some of his uh, the way how he did ministry. Come on, now somebody. They wanted more of Paul and not Timothy. Come on, now somebody. So Paul says, listen. So Timothy said, listen, my man. Carry me up. Carry me up. Carry me up. I can't stay down here. But Paul wrote back a letter to Timothy. And he said, Timothy, yeah, man. I saw the thing said. But I have anointed you. I have appointed you. I have sent you down as God has sent me. Come on, so much. And when, when Timothy read the letter, man, it sounded good. Like he's going to get a letter of transfer. It sounded like he was about to be transferred. And he said, when he read it, but when he went down to the latter part of the letter, when he was uh, looking forward to say, all right, come back up. All he says, stay on. Somebody praise God. Do the work of an evangelist. Somebody praise God. He wrote back. He said, Timothy, you can't quit. You can't come up now. For the Lord has sent you to Ephesus. When God sent you to Ephesus, there are going to be rejections. There are going to be skepticism. Hey! Somebody worship God. May I console a pastor. May I console a bishop. May I console a leader. If God has sent you, there may be skeptics. There may be human rejection. But if God has sent you, he's going to keep you. He's going to preserve you. So he sent me to tell you and inclusive of myself, stay on, stay on. It's rough, but stay on. They're assessing your heart, but stay on. They're evaluating your heart. They're comparing you to others, but stay on. For the call is upon your life. The anointing is upon your life. Your purpose is in you. You may not be like your friend. You may not be like your past brother. You may not be like your mentor. But there's a unique call that is upon your life. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Lift your hand and say, stay on. Say, stay on, man, stay on. The right letters. Writing letters, making phone calls, WhatsApping and email about you. Come on, somebody. But stay on. It's a hard road to travel. Oh, can I preach in this house? And a mighty long way to go. But Jesus, the blessed Savior. Come on, Christians. Stay on. Stay with Jesus. Stay in the body of Christ. Stay in the church. You get in hell from within the church, which is sad to say that at the church that gives some of us hell. When the church should be giving us heaven, church people are giving we hell. But the more hell they give us, is the more we learn to appreciate that we can't go to heaven. We can't go to hell rather. Because if the hell on earth is so hot from church people, imagine real hell. Look at, oh, look at your neighbor says, stay on, stay on, stay on. It's not easy, but you have to stay on. It's not easy, pastor, but you have to hold on. Sometimes you cry, but you have to hold on. Sometimes you feel like quitting, but you got to hold on. Sometimes when you look at some people who have given everything, they are the ones who are saying, I can't take a bone in him. I can't deal with her. Come on, somebody. But you got to stay on. Say, neighbor, stay on. Stay on. Hold on. Weeping. Man, endure for a night. But joy, high five your neighbor, say your joy 
is just around the corner. You can't see around the corner. But if you should know that joy is behind the corner, it's rough on the street. But when you turn the corner, you shall smile again. Shake on the about Satoria. Somebody, oh, somebody, God. So, oh, somebody worship God. If your burden stay on, if it is challenging, stay on. Oh, somebody worship God tonight. Somebody worship God. Preach it, man, preach. Preach it, man, preach. Preach, pastor, preach. Somebody worship God. Preach to somebody, preach to somebody. Console somebody. Not only in the spiritual, but even in the secular. There are some people who are giving you hell, who are trying to uproot you, who are trying to get you out. But stay on, for go God higher, no man can fire. Who God appoint, no man can disappoint. If God fix you up, set you up uh, and position you don't allow anybody look at your neighbor say stay under the canopy stay up and stay under the canopy of God's covering Sit down, sit down, sit down. Hallelujah. Wave your hand and shout something quickly. Somebody lift your hand and shout a praise tonight. Shout a praise. Shout a praise. Oh, preacher man, I feel the holy. Day. Somebody just take a praise break. Somebody just take a break and just send up a praise. Send up a praise. Hey, God. Oh, there's a, there's a shift. Something is happening in this house. Somebody needed this. Somebody needed to hear this. Somebody who was on the verge of giving up, closing down. Don't close the church door. Don't lock down the mission. Don't shut it down. God has called you for such a time as this. Fulfill your purpose. Shimon Yaketodia Mahaya. Don't write the resignation. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody stay in your job. Stay in the house. Stay in the property. Somebody praise God. Stay in it. Stay in your marriage. Don't file the divorce. Hey God, stay with your children. Don't run off. Don't get frustrated. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Better must come one day. Raise your hand and say a change is on the horizon. A change is on the horizon. It won't stay like this all the time. I have an expectation that God is going to visit. That God is going to deliver. Clap your hands and sit down in that victory. Sit down in that anointing. Sit down with that prophetic word. Sit down in that miracle. Sit down in that victory. Oh God Almighty. Not your neighbor with your elbow and say, neighbor, I can't keep still. 
I just get the word. I gotta shout it. I gotta move in it. I've gotta rejoice. Shima Kesatoria. Oh God Almighty. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 Not your neighbor. With your elbow and say, neighbor, I have to shake up because of my word. Shake up in your seat. Say, I'm my word that I'm staying on. I'm holding on. I'm hanging on. It's a hard road to travel. And a mighty long way. Go. But Jesus, the blessed Savior, gonna lead you all the way I know many a lonesome valley many deep waters roll but I am determined to hold on to the end I get this as a revelation. The person here beside may not a family member. May not be a spouse. May not be a child. But turn around to that person like he's your child and picture somebody. If he or she is not. And say, hey, I ain't giving up on you. Because God hasn't given up, given up on you. I'm staying with you. I'm staying on. I'm staying on. Kroshimakata Rabakosatoria Bahaya feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm not giving up on you. I'm not giving up on you. Because God hasn't given up on me. I've given up. Shake on the Rabasatoria Bahaya. Somebody wave your hand. Wave your hand in Bronx, New York. Wave your hand in the cathedral. Wave your hand in full truth. And see, I'm staying on. I'm staying in there. Woo! Yeah, you say who? Somebody shout hallelujah. Mighty deliverer, mighty deliverer, mighty deliverer. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. Hey, God Almighty. Somebody online. Somebody in virtual space. Colorado, Canada. Amazonti. West Palm Beach. Bronx, Bronx Queens. Okeman, Tartola. Antigua. Jamaica. Smalling, Manchester, Clarinda. St. Catherine. Negril, Tumorant. Somebody send a message. Call somebody. Tell them. Message your pastor. Message your bishop. Message your leader. Message your parents. Send it to your children. The Holy Ghost says to tell them. Stay on. Stay on. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Shout yes, shout yes, shout it again, type it, send it, write it down, go back and tell your boss, tell your manager, you ain't leaving, tell your vice principal, tell your, oh God almighty, tell them you ain't going anywhere, God has called you, send you, and he will keep you. Clap your hands, let me see a few more things. I had to get that in because the Holy Ghost needed me to sit down. Let me tell you a little bit more about the invitation. Oh, I'm cognizant, but I'm getting close to my. Somebody shout, Hallelujah, Bishop. You know, there's an anointing in here. You know there's an anointing in the center. Kurosha koda basata. 
put it on your status, put it on your profile, put it in your page, put it on TikTok, all kind of talk, all kind of something, and let them see it. Confuse the enemy because they're expecting you to quit. But the Lord tell you stay on. And if God say you are to stay on, you're gonna stay on. Ah, uh, somebody worship. Yeah, somebody worship God. So church, whilst God uses churches, people, and theological systems, Christianity is an intimate personal relationship with the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ desires us to come and be like him in that we be holy, walk worthy of the vocation, be an ambassador, impact others to come to the faith and live circumspect lives. Let's for a moment look at the one word which I will not run over. All. So they say, come to me. Oh. Come on, somebody. You thought I was finished. You thought I was finished. Come to me. Oh. Dr. Taylor, all points to the universal significance of this offer. It's the universal significance of this offer. All. This Greek word for all generally means all with no expectation, with no exception. So when you say all, all with no exceptions. And yet in the present context, the all is in a sense restricted. Come on somebody. Restricted by Jesus' statement to those who humble, those humble souls who acknowledge their weariness of struggling with sin. This all is God's merciful antidote for the horrible all of Romans 3, 23, where Paul says, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Jesus is speaking to a Jewish audience, but with the all, he flings open the gates of salvation to sinners from Every tribe, every tongue, every people, every nation. As once a sinner saved by grace, we can praise God for this all. From the lips of the redeemer of mankind, he said, all. Not unique to any single nation, person or group. We are never to be partial. Come on, somebody. To one group or class or nationality. In Christ, God reaches out to the whole world. He says, rich and poor, come. Those from different racial backgrounds, come. Cast out, come. Rejected, come. Those with carnal minds, come. Those with carnal intents, come. Those who have sexual preferences, come. Those who are aligned to various L, B, and Q, and S, and R, and T, and Z, and all kind of something, come. He said, come, for I can straighten you up. I can set things right. He said, all come. Somebody praise God. Who are invited? All. And they all are those who are weary and heavy laden. It points to who are weary and heavy laden, points to the objects of the appeal. Come on, somebody. These participles are grammatically closely connected together. One article with both participles connected by chi. Chi in Greek as cause and effect. Come on, somebody. The first word, weary, is the effect. And the word, the other word, heavy laden, give us the cause. Look at the cause first. Heavy laden is fortizo in Greek, which carries the idea as to place a burden upon. Come on, somebody. To load as when placing a load upon the back of an jackals or donkey for those who come from the country. The tense is perfect, which draws our attention to the abuse abiding results, the overbearing burden on the backs of men. The Savior obviously had in mind 
include the Pharisees, but it would include the burden of sin as demonstrated so clearly by the Old Testament law, which shows us all under sin, its guilt and its death, and thus also the burden of frustration of any solution by which men seek to deal with their sin and emptiness without Jesus Christ. Somebody praise God. So when you look at the word weary, come on, somebody. Kopio. Come on, somebody. K O P I A O. The Greek brings the idea to labor, toil, expend great effort in hard and disagreeable work, to grow weary, tired, labor to the point of exhaustion. Come on, somebody. It is in the present continuous tense and undoubtedly describes man's fruitless effort to deal with sin in its guilt and personal misery, whether by some form of religious legalism or by whatever method or human strategy he seeks to deal with the emptiness and frustration of his soul. Somebody praise God. So therefore, a humble application would say, we are sin, the living for Satan has caused weariness in us utilizing great effort to work for him without any eternal reward of happiness or satisfaction Jesus is saying come out of that he's saying it is written a verbal it is a written or verbal request to do something to our God Almighty that is far more worthwhile and gives hope for a bright and eternal future and that is rest so under burden heavy pressure seem too much to bear he's saying drop it and come he said, if you're under burden, you're under pressure, Lord God Almighty, you're under something that you have disagreed to. You didn't take it on voluntarily. He said, drop it and come. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Somebody praise God. It's an invitation. Drop the burden. If you're weary, come. If you're sad, come. If you're frustrated, come. If you're under pressure, come. If you feel like you can't make it, turn it over and come. Somebody praise God. And the invitation comes from Jesus. But from the invitation, you find the instruction. The instruction from Jesus is to the burdened means it is a direction or order told to do. It is a command. I say an instruction is an order told eh, on what to do. It is a command. So where do you find the instruction, Pastor? Is it, if the invitation sounds like the instruction, eh, the in, don't mix it up. The first part, 28A is the invitation. But 29A is the instruction. It said, take my yoke upon and learn from me. It's an instruction. It's a command. Somebody praise God. What is a yoke? A yoke is a farming implement that joins two animals such as oxen together so that the animals can share the workload evenly and become more productive. Sometimes an older, more experienced animal is yoked with a younger, less experienced animal so that the older animal can train the younger animal whilst they work together. Somebody praise God. By using the illustration of a yoke, Jesus is asking us to share and be partners with him in his work, in his ministry and his service. He's also telling us that he will train us. For he says, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your soul. Jesus wants to equip us. Uh, he wants us to come to him. And learn from him in a continuing relationship. He will equip us. He will teach us. He will guide us. And he will guide us on how to be effective in life. Effective in our ministry. If we only allow him. 
then he will guide us. If we come to Jesus and do the things his way in partnership and communion with him, he promises that we will find rest. Somebody say rest. Not only rest, but we shall be refreshed. For there is refreshment for our soul. I'm not talking about black forest and cheesecake and cranberry juice. I'm not talking about strawberry, raspberry and kiwi. Come on, somebody. I'm not talking about those kind of food refreshment. I'm talking about spiritual refreshment. Somebody praise God. So in the process, we will become more like our teacher. Gentle, meek, humble, in heart. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. If you don't possess, possess the fruit of the spirit, the gifts of the spirit don't make no sense. For the fruit of the spirit matter. For some people have a lot of gifts, but no fruit. Come on, not somebody have the fruit we want. Because the fruit will endorse us and approve us ready for heaven. Come on, not somebody. For some people cannot have love. But never come my hand and tell you shall come tire. Somebody praise God. I don't want nobody when I have no love and doesn't possess the fruit of the spirit to come tell me about shock over tire. And from me a little boy, me a drive. So me must know say shock over tire. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Me don't want nobody tell me about color low. Lord God Almighty, at when the hot the bone dog, for me grow with my grandmother. And when you throw the hot color low, and the dog, so, ha, ha. somebody praise God. You must have love. We must have joy. We must have temperance, long suffering, patience, meekness. The fruit of the Spirit will allow us to be more like Christ, not the gifts of the Spirit. For we can have tongues, prophesy, reveal, and to us who don't know that, fortune telling and a prophecy. Say them have gifts to somebody praise the name of the Lord. A fruit we want. But when we have the fruit, Lord God will live right, talk right, dress right. Even when pastor said that is wrong, we take it with joy and still come at church. But we can have the gifts run up and down, disturb church, and pastor talk to and three weeks we we'll come back because we don't like it. Look for we to put on we gifts and go get the fruit. For the fruit the church want is the fruit that matters. What a preacher. Pray for me. I'm coming home. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. When the burden is so heavy. That you feel like you can't pray. Or you cannot form your prayers. God Almighty lean on him. Oh hallelujah. Have some persons ever been under pressure. Have some persons ever feel the burden. And become weary that you get down at your bedside and when you try to form a prayer remember your prayer warrior you know remember everybody call you about their condition and you can wire heaven for 45 minutes without repeating one word but when you corner and have your own burden and struggles you kneel at the bedside and you fall asleep and wake up a ball come on now somebody because we have a own condition but when we are cornered when we are locked and are trapped in our situation he said lean on me when you are not strong and I'll be your friend and I'll help you carry on somebody praise God do I have somebody tonight who will lean on him somebody lean on Jesus lean on Jesus every rock me rock up on Jesus ah oh, somebody praise God somebody praise God somebody worship in this cathedral you are between a rock and a hard place you have no hit rock bottom you're on the verge you're at the point of quitting you're on the point of giving over 
Your back is heavy laden. Your strength is going. But come on, somebody. Jesus say, come. Jesus say, get closer. Somebody praise. Whoever you are, get close to Jesus. Draw close to Jesus. I'll out this song and say, I need thee, oh. I need thee. Every oh, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. Come with me, church. Come with me, Zion. It's Thursday night. It's the penultimate night. You've got to come with your burden. You've got to come to Jesus. Somebody praise God. He said, cast your cares upon him. He cares for you. Are you weary? Are you heavy hearted? Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus alone. Sinner man come. Sinner woman come. Burdened come. Shackled come. Stressed out come. Depressed come. Economic struggling come. Your unemployed come. Your under sickness come. Your under attack come. Hell and guilt trouble come. For you can't tell it to Jesus. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. I feel a victory. I feel a victory. You feel like quitting. You feel like there's no hope in carrying on. But lift your spirit and say, My hope is built and nothing less. Somebody pray for me. Somebody shout. Come spalling. Come warriors. Come prayer workers. Somebody shout hallelujah. Pressure. Pressure. Family pressure. Work pressure. Home pressure. Church pressure. But come. Anywhere you are, come. Any position you are, come. Your naked, come. Your weak, come. Your stress, come. Shakandolabosa. Rakamandolia. Sakandolia basa. Somebody say, come. Somebody say, come. Somebody say, come. I feel your woman of God. I feel your New Testament woman. I feel your church of God woman. Somebody say come. Somebody say come. Somebody say come. I come. I come. I come. I come. I come. Lift your hand and say I come. Lift your hand and say I come. Say I come. I come. I come. I come. I don't know how, but I come. I don't know what lies ahead. But I come, I come. We have your hand and say, I come. We have your hand and say, I come. Shout, I come. Jesus is calling. After me and tenderly. Jesus is calling. Calling you. Oh, sinner, come. Hallelujah. Shout, a glory. Shout, hallelujah. Shout, yes, in the house. Shout, yes, church of God. Shout Shima Rabando K Hilamanda Kasataya Rabando Kesatoria. Oh, come on, Mantigo Bay West Palm. Ah, Eastwood Park, Port Moore, Spalling, Spring Ground, Pollocks, Cotoria, Santa Hill. Shiba Kyo Satoria Rabando Ketoria Masata Mahaya Somebody shout Prayer Warriors Shout Burdens are lifted at Calvary Somebody say lift my burden Lift my burden Lift my burden You come under burden But you go in home light you come under pressure, but you're going home light. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I hear Paul says, For there is therefore then no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Preach it, bird. Preach it, bird. 
I hear Paul says, what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory that shall be revealed later. I hear Paul says, for what shall we say then if God be for us? Who can be against us? I hear Paul says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear David says, I have been young and now I'm old. I've never, somebody say, I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Somebody wave your hand. Say, I come. I come, I come because he calls me. I didn't choose him, but he chose me. Somebody say he chose me. He chose me. He knew me. He said to Jeremiah, before I formed thee in the belly of your mama, I knew you. I have ordained you. I have set you apart. Come on, now somebody. And I will be with you as I was with. So I will be with you. I hear him say to Isaiah, when thou passes through the waters, I'll be with you. When you go through the rivers, it shall not overflow you. When you pass through the fire, it shall not kindle upon thee. For I will be with you. Somebody say, be with me. Somebody say, be with me. Somebody say, be with me, Lord. Say, be with me. I hear him tell Jeremiah, or I know the thoughts. I know the plans I have for you. Plan to prosper you. Touch your neighbor, say, I shall prosper. Them set all kind of things in my way. Them send all kind of monkey, all kind of lizard, all kind of frog, all kind of serpent, all kind of vial, all kind of powder, all kind of something to confuse you, to frustrate you, to deter you. But look at your neighbor. Say, I shall prosper. For thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest, thou anointest, thou anointest, thou anointest, thou anointest. My head, my head, shout in this house. My head with oil, my cup, my cup, say my cup, run it over. Surely, surely, goodness shall counteract every badness, every wickedness. The goodness of the Lord shall counteract every evil spell, every evil scheme, every evil table, every assignment, every orchestrated plot of hell. The kingdom of God shall nullify it, shall trample it, and give me victory, and give me deliverance. Somebody say deliverance. Say neighbor, there's an invitation, there's a command, and there's an instruction. Say there's an instruction, but there's an incentive. He said those who come and take the yoke shall find rest, eternal rest, forever rest. There shall be peace. Wrap up that tablet. Lock up that Bible. Somebody praise God. Say neighbor. There's a payment. There's a reward. For those who obey. For those who comply. For those who humble. For those who come. When you come, follow the instruction. And you shall be rewarded. There's reward. For every righteous. For every humble. Obedient person, come and be blessed, come and be prospered, come and receive eternal life. What is the incentive? Incentive for those who come, 
leave sin and come you shall experience you shall inherit the kingdom of God for Jesus gone to prepare a mansion for you somebody get ready get ready for your payment get ready for your reward the reason why I'm living this life I don't want to be lost I am determined I am pressing on the upward way new height I'm gaining every day still praying as I onward go Lord plant my feet and see him come backslider come weary come stress come depressed come come to the invitation follow the command and get the incentive I truly appreciate it. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God tonight. I'm done. Come unto me. Come to me. Whether it is to or unto is the same preposition. It refers to the same in terms of proximity. Drop it and come. Forsake all others that is not of God and come. Is there an unsafe tonight? Is there a backslider for you to forsake this message and walk out without responding? You could be calling on serious things on yourself. I come with this message for you. Will you accept it or will you reject it? It's your night of deliverance. Don't let another night pass you. Hear the blessed Savior. Bring it out of the redemption. Bring it out of the hymn. Bring up the words. Let's do that old time song. As somebody move down to this altar. And I pray for you tonight. Hear the blessed Savior. Calling the oppressed. Hear the blessed Savior calling the oppressed. Come to me and rest. Bring me every. Oh, come. Ooh. Unto me, come on, church, and I will give you rest. Give you rest. on 
the mountains, stumbling on the mountains, dark with sin and shame. So, can't you go me by the power of sin?
will keep you rich. Together, you know, are something different, you know. When Zion is in one accord, hell tremble. And right now, at this ah, I have detected that hell trembling because anything can happen because the Holy Ghost is alive. Somebody shout hallelujah, shout praise. Somebody worship, somebody worship, somebody worship tonight. After this altar call, I have one more thing to do in a minute or two. Let me pray. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Just grab a hold of your neighbor's hand right now. Just hold your neighbor's hand. Just hold your neighbor's hand. Rimbia Katoria Bahaya. Father, we give you most thanks, every thanks, every praise. We're most grateful and appreciative for your presence, for your anointing, for it is the anointing that breaks the yoke. One can lecture, one can do a presentation, one can do a motivational talk without the anointing and the Holy Spirit and still be effective. But to preach, Lord, we need the anointing. And I thank you for that anointing. I thank you for that outpouring of your Holy Spirit that makes this preaching and this declaration effective and impactful. Thank you that you continue to speak to me and through me. Heavenly Father, that you'll keep me in the hollow of your hands. Build an edge around me and keep me consistently and continuously. When the mouth of hell has been opened, when individuals join with families and outsiders for to bring an attack upon the ministry, on my family and I and on others, Lord. We pray that you'll nullify, confound. In the name of Jesus Christ, tonight we thank you that even now, Lord, your servant, your people have come to this altar. 
they have responded because they have heard an invitation. It's for them now to comply with the commands. I know God received the incentive. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you'll but minister to them. I pray that your power will rest upon them. I pray that your anointing will rest upon them. They will, end, they will seek you and find you tonight, God. As they open their heart's door, if they are not saved, Lord, you will come on in and live with them. I pray for the Father that no one who haven't yet met you as Lord and Savior and is standing at this altar will walk out, Lord, still in the same position. But there, God will experience a divine encounter. A shift will take place. Conversion will take place. Salvation, Lord, will come home. Let them understand that salvation is free because you paid the price years ago. And so, Heavenly Father, help them, Lord, that all it takes for them is to just accept you. I pray for a touch. Pray that you touch the mind, touch the heart. Touch their will, their desire, touch their ways. Heavenly Father, that they will not leave here the way they came. Whether they are bound, oppressed, tormented, sick, or lame, for the Holy Ghost of Acts is still the same. Spirit of the living God, Holy Ghost of Acts, smash those hardened parts. Break down every idol. Cast out every foe. Wash tonight and let somebody be whiter than snow. Spirit of the living God, I put your people in your hands. Save to the utmost. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Whatever is holding them back, Lord, from surrendering to you, Lord. Let them come to that place of realizing that that same thing can send them to hell and they will drop it now, Lord, and seek you as Lord and Savior. Save tonight, Lord. Let them come and have a personal relationship with you. Lord, I pray for a touch. Transforming, restoring touch for the backsliders. For those who have stepped out, for those who are feeling weak and low in their spirit, where that zeal and that desire and that fervor has gone cold. Heavenly Father, to wake it up in them again. Heavenly Father, that they will stir up. As Paul says, stir up that which is in you. Heavenly Father, that you'll build. Oh God, you help them to build their lives on you, Lord. Thanks for the touch of deliverance, the touch of salvation, the touch of healing, the touch of transformation and restoration. Lord, my hands are but limited. You know, God, time and perhaps energy would fail if I tried to touch everybody. But your big mighty hands can do the touch right now. Mighty deliverer, mighty savior, heal and restorer. Do just that now for somebody. As I appeal to you, as I cry out to you, Abba Father, save to the utmost. I believe you for deliverance. I believe you that you can save tonight. Thanks for the touch. Thanks for the healing. Not only for these at the altar, but those who are online and elsewhere who don't know you as Lord and Savior, that they will come to that place of acknowledgement and surrender to your will and your way. Thanks that they came, Lord. I thank you, Lord, in advance that they are now obeying the instructions. And I say, Lord, as they obey, Lord, they will look forward for the incentive. Thanks for the touch of deliverance, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Before you move, it would be remiss of me not to ask if you have not yet have a relationship with Christ, why not now? The question I want to ask, if not now, then when? If not tonight, then when? If you have faltered, if you have backslidden, if you have become weak, you can rebuild, you can find a relationship with I give you Jesus. Kroshi by Kotoria. I give you Jesus. Will you accept him tonight? Will you take him home with you tonight? 
Will you say all to Jesus I surrender? All to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him. And just look what the Lord has done for you. Look where he has taken you from. Look what he's carrying you through. Why can't you give him back? All he's asking, give me your heart. He says, and I will give you my father's kingdom. He's gone to prepare a place for us. Mansion, he said, in my father's house are many mansions. If, not were, if it were not so, I would have told you. What more can I tell you? But to ask the question, will you accept Jesus Christ tonight? If you'll accept him tonight, raise that hand. Yes, there's a hand. Yes, yes, a hand. There are four hands. Is there another hand tonight? You may not know how. You may not know when. But he'll do it again. God knows the things that you're going through. And how you are hurting. He has proven time and time again. That he'll take care of you. Why not take Jesus tonight? As Lord and Savior. Tonight is your night. With a simple, straightforward message as this. It doesn't need, need much laboring and lingering at the altar. It's just for humanity to say, Thank you, Lord, for dying for me. I give you my heart in exchange. Come and save me and live with me. I appreciate the four hands that were raised. I say to the others, time is running out. Have you answered God's question for your final destiny? Have you made your reservation for eternity? It matters not if you're young or strong. You're going to need God's helping hand. Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. You're going to need someone to help you. You're going to need someone to guide you. You're going to need someone to lead you home. Why won't you let him? Why won't you let him? Tonight, my appeal. Why won't you let him? Put your hands together for them who has come to this altar. Come back tomorrow night. It's the final night of yours truly. I look forward in seeing you as you come back. Put your hands together for yourselves, everybody. You can go back. Counselors, make sure you have their names and you're checking up on them. Even those who have not raised their hands, make sure you have their names so that you can call them and invite them to church and still talk to them about Jesus because it's quite relevant, it's quite pertinent because we are about kingdom building, not about personal building. It's about kingdom building. Thank you, you can go back. Counselors, we are the persons, take their names. Don't take it for granted that you know their names and their numbers. Take their names and their numbers. That's how converts, class, and discipleship begins. It takes much to win a soul. Can't allow them to slip away that easy. Somebody praise God. Tonight in quick order, the anointing is still upon my life. You are here and you brought that water, olive oil. Take it out. If you haven't brought it tonight, no need to worry. 
I still have another night. Don't take it that I have two nights or I have a night and a day. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow this time my plane dock, my plane land. At JFK waiting to take me to West Palm. Amen. So you know Saturday morning. Afternoon I'll be calling to you from West Palm Beach. Amen. As I continue in that big convention in West Palm Sunday morning. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Christ can break every fetter and he can set you free. As many that believe to them gave he power to become the sons of men. Come on somebody. The sons of God. Somebody worship God. You see, there was a time when the anointed servant of God was going through. And his very shadow. Come on somebody. His very shadow impacted many. Come on somebody. There was another time when the man of God, Peter, was going. Yeah, you remember it? And Paul was going through an handkerchief. Come on, somebody. You've never heard about Paul using handkerchief again. One time. Go back and read the Bible. Come on, somebody. And one time. Never hear about Peter's shadow anywhere else. Come on, somebody. Never hear about Jesus spitting on the ground three, four times. Because that, that method was just for that time. There are some people who are playing around with some methods. And carrying it around as usual. Come on, somebody. And say, this is my ministry. This is my nonsense. If you follow the anointing. Somebody praise God. Because when you check through, when you check through scriptures. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. And at one time him called Lazarus. Now let nobody fool you. Jesus never called Lazarus, Lazarus. One time. And he didn't say dead comfort. Because if he had said dead comfort of a dead person. It was. Lazarus. It was Lazarus time. When your time, he will call you. Somebody praise God. Lazarus come forth. And when it was Jairus' daughter time, he went into the room. Come on, somebody. And he run out all of the daughters and the naysayers. So guess what Jesus did, Bishop? He shut out some and he run out some. So those who are outside, he shut them out. And those who are inside, he said, you go out. Come on. I don't want you to hinder the process. Because some people are skeptic about the method so that they miss the miracle. Some people question the method and miss their miracle. Come on, somebody. Is it what you want, the method or the miracle? Lord God, somebody praise God. Is the miracle you want, man? Come on, somebody here. Is the miracle you want, man? Why is the word questioning? What kind of nasty? What kind of thing that Jesus had done? Come on, somebody. Man, say, my healing I want. Come on, so what you want? Your healing and your breakthrough. Doesn't matter who want to see you. Doesn't matter who want to who wanna have questions about you. Tell them that, listen, if I believe, I know it can work. Come on, in, the, in, 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 in some saying or another, it's a belief, kill and belief, cure. And also say life and death is in the power of the tongue. Somebody praise God. Say, if I speak life over my life, it sh over myself, it shall be. And if I say I'm going to die, come on, every day I wake up, I go dead. You go dead. So turn the day. Mean, stay there. <laughs> Amen. I want to say to you, believe God right now. Come on, somebody. I may not be able to hold every battle. As a matter of fact, it's not many of you. Let me follow what the Holy Ghost says. Come on, somebody. I'm going to be praying. I'm going to form a line. And I'm just going to stretch. Don't expect me to hold long. But just believe. Because these hands of mine reach your water or your olive oil. When you go back home. And there are some who are going to believe right now. Uh, open it and drink it or apply it. 
Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. If you feel like putting it on your car, putting it on your fence, put it on your bed, put it on your desk, put it in your food, put it in your clothes. Come on, somebody, put it there. Come on, somebody. It's better to put the olive oil and the consecrated things than to put tape measure. And horse shoe and all kind of powder and vial all over yourself. Come on, somebody, and call down all kind of curse and invoke all kind of demons and devil. It's better to apply that which is pure. Pray for that God will do a miracle. Somebody trust God right now. Lift them up right now. Christ can break every fetter. Come on, church. Christ can break. Yeah. If you're at home and you have your olive oil or your water, lift it up. Christ can break. If you don't have a bottle of water, fill your glass, fill your cup. Shako no you, if you have it on your dress, oh, on your, on your chest of joy, in your, wherever you have it, reach for it online. Christ can bring yeah. every fetter. Come true, church. Christ can break. Come true, Zion. Holy Ghost. Every fetter. Christ. Code of us, I told you. Yeah. Every fetter he can set you hold it up and believe and see it again. Christ can bring hallelujah. Yeah. Every fetter Christ can break. Hey, every turn, Christ can yeah. every turn, he can set Ooh. you, I hear the Holy Ghost say we still can do it one more time, Christ can break. Every fetter, Christ, yeah. every fetter, Christ can break. Oh, hallelujah! Every fetter. yes, sir, he can set, fill a cup for your mother. Fill a cup for your glass. Fill a glass for your mother, your parents, or somebody who is sick one more time. Christ can bring. Yeah. Reach out to your grandparents. Get it for your daughter. Get it for your sibling. Get it for somebody. You're online tonight. Call somebody. Tell them God is moving right now. Shoot them all, son. I, yeah, every turn he can set you, Father. I stretch my hand to thee, no other help do I know. If you should withdraw yourself from us. Whether or to whom shall I go? Tonight, Lord, from 862 East to 13th Street, Bronx, New York, on the corner in this small room, oh God, over a hundred people are raising up water in bottles and containers. Lifting up various sizes of olive oil. Lord God, some are online, hunts in their various spaces. Rising by faith, 
lifting my feet because they are in expectation. As we raise them up, Lord, look down from your throne. Let there be a holy consecration upon every water, upon every olive oil. Let your holy anointing fire run through these containers. Penetrate the substance that when it is applied, when it is consumed, there will be a difference. There will be healing. There will be miracles. There will be transformation. Sovereign God, touch every bottle of water. Let it chill. I call you. Let it chill. Let the temperature, oh God, be just right for the consumption and application. Let us, each person, apply our use, Lord. Consume our otherwise. Lord God, there be a shift. There be healing. And every time they draw or pull for it, or reach for any of them, God Almighty, result will come forth. Lord God, we are not superstitious. We don't believe in myths. We are not fortune tellers. But we believe that sign follow the believers. Let sign follow the church. Let sick bodies be healed. Terminal illness will dry up. Critical conditions will be addressed. By faith, I raise these bottles. Anoint hands as I touch Shakodi of Asata. Anoint me, empower me. That as I touch God, there will be a difference. Kroshibai. Holy Ghost, reveal yourself. Testimonies will come. Oh God, expressions will come. Results will be evidence. Signs will be there. It will be demonstrated on the outward as you do transformation on the inward. Thanks for your touch. Thanks for your intervention. Thanks for the bubbling and the troubling of the water. Thanks that the oil is now ready. Uh, as the oil that was in uh, Samuel's horn began to boil, began to bubble. Let the olive oil that is in the hands of your people let something happen like what happened in Samuel's day. That, oh God, victory, elevation, promotion, deliverance, transformation, restoration appointment and settlement will come Lord take full control I lift up my head. I lift up all others before you and I give you thanks for the work give you thanks for the outcome as your people believe by faith in Jesus name somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah Somebody shout hallelujah. He touched me. Oh, 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 he touched me. And oh, the joy that flood my soul. Come believe it, come believe it. Oh, something. Shakoda was and now, come, come with faith. Come with a sound. Come with a worship. He touch, Lord God, and make me whole. Push and come. He touch me. Oh, he touch me. Come, church, come. And oh. The joy that flood my soul. Oh God, believe, believe something. Shiku, Shakundi, Labando Ketoria, 
And now I know He touched me and made me home. There's a case of water here that I have touched. He touched me. If you don't have any, you can come. Oh, I believe everybody can get one if you don't have one. I feel it. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Nobody leave because the Holy Ghost is talking to me right now. Something happened. And now I know. He touched and made me whole. I need the old. It's a sacred night. Come church, come church. No time to hide. No time to be looking elsewhere. The hour believe for the diabetes is going to dry up. Believe, oh, oh bless the amnesia. Oh, God, the ulcer. Oh, God, the pneumonia. I come, the cancer, cold, the migraine. Shibuya. Oh, I need come, musician, come work with me. The I need thee every word what is available I have already prayed over them I have already consecrated them oh bless me now my savior I come I come to thee. Oh, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Show them a hustle to Every hour. you but my faith tells me that I should tip a little of my olive oil in it I don't know if your faith or your feeling led to do that but if you feel that way no problem Ruby Shaturia Hallelujah there's result in obedience Krumi Katuria there's miracle in obedience, somebody praise God. They were told, fill the water pots with water. Come on, somebody. The guys were told, go borrow vessel. Not a few. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Do you have room to receive it? 
Do you have enough vessel? There's going to be an outpouring. Shakando, the Asata. Somebody worship, somebody worship. If you're online, you can try get your thing now. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to counteract the naysayers. Lift it up right now. Kimo Shatoria. Thank you, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Break every chain. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, come on. The Holy Ghost is still here. Picture your condition. Picture your situation. The liver situation. Kidney situation. Heart situation. Pancreatic cancer. Prostate. Kroshiba. Asthma. Sinus. Migraine. Cataract. Glaucoma. Oh, hallelujah. Whatever it is. Heart. It is hand. Right. It is foot. Right. It is any kind of sickness. Believe right now. Believe right now. As you raise it up. Raise it up right now. Raise it up. Say, Father, I believe you right now. I believe that there's going to be a miracle. That there's going to be a deliverance. That there's going to be a turnaround in my life, in my body. Say, so Lord, this water, this consecrated water and olive oil, I consume for my strength, for my deliverance, for my healing, for my, de for my development. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Drink so. Jesus Christ, I feel so Glory, sustain me, musician. Sustain me, sustain, sustain, sustain. Whoa! Somebody worship tonight! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It is well! It is well! Oh God Almighty, I feel the Holy Ghost, it is well. Oh God Almighty, I want you to be responsive to the Holy Ghost right now. And after three, you're going to throw your hands in the air and seven times you're going to shout, Glory, Hallelujah, thank you Jesus. But when God has done something for you, you must give a praise. You must echo a thanks. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Ah, God. Somebody, somebody. Hey, somebody worship today. One, two, three. Shout. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Two. Three, four, five, six, 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 hi, six, Jesus Christ. Seven, shout! 
Rakaboshatoria Rabana Bakesumahutia. Thank you, Jesus. Come here, Sister Chin. Glory to God. Whoa. For many, they may not appreciate. See them like how it is. Carry it to your husband. The prophet sent it. It shall be well. Somebody shout hallelujah. It comes straight from the prophet. Somebody shout. Somebody worship in the house. Somebody worship. Oh God Almighty, I see God doing something. Hey, somebody worship in the house. Heaven bless all of you tonight. May he keep you. Guide you. May he strengthen you. Pray for me. Pray for my family. Pray for my ministry. As I continue to be humble before God. See you tomorrow night. God tarry so long. Tell somebody. It's final night. And we don't know what God is going to be doing. Because he has already done some stuff. But he's still a miracle working God. He cannot be understood. Come on, because there are some things that is called mystery. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Good night. God bless you. Praise God. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Come on, we're not moving, we're not moving, we're not moving. I need the pastors to come and we're going to cover the man of God. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, pastors. All pastors in the house, come on. Let us pray. Bless the name of Jesus. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Coverage. Fill him up, Jesus. Build a shield around him. An edge of protection. Where the enemy can do him no harm. Lord has. He would have poured into us tonight. Pour back into the man of God. Rest upon him Jesus. Rest upon him Jesus. Come on church. Rest upon him Jesus. Rest upon him, Jesus. Hallelujah. God will locate Sister Hepburn and children even now. And we send the blood of Jesus in their direction. Father, there will be no backlash in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, you will fight for him. And you will fight for the family. So right now in the name of Jesus... We counteract every plan. We counteract every trap of the enemy. Back up devil. Back up devil. In the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus against every assignment of the enemy. Lord God Almighty. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth uh, that you will shield him, you will hide him under your blood uh, where the enemy will not be able to find them, cannot locate them, oh God Almighty, totally off the map uh, and in the hand of Jesus uh, I commit Steve Hepburn, uh, yeah, oh God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth uh, that you will take your hand even now and you will rest upon him Restore the strength. Restore the strength in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, restore strength. Oh God, I plead the blood of Jesus even now over the bedroom that he sleeps in. Oh God Almighty, 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cut and clear every assignment of the enemy, every attack that the enemy has set up. Oh, God Almighty, oh, God, we come against it in the name of Jesus. You can't touch God's anointed servant. You can't attack God's anointed servant. You can't do the prophet no harm. I speak to every demons and every devil that want to rise up in this hour and I render you powerless in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God. Glory to God. No weapon form. No weapon form shall prosper. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon. No weapon! I cover you, man of God. No weapon! Shut up! No weapon! Shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against the man of God shall be condemned. We cut out. Ah, oh God. We cut out the tongue in the name of Jesus. We cut out the tongue. Holy God, chop off the tongue. In the, every hand that wants to rise up, oh God Almighty, we cut them off tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the church shout, Jesus. Only you can protect, only you can shield. So we leave him in your hand, even now, and we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Let the church say, Amen. Oh, somebody praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't want you to leave. We ought to bless the man of God. Bless the name of the Lord. We're going to give back to the man of God tonight. Bless the name of Jesus. There's still an anointing in this house. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, somebody has been blessed. Somebody received a deliverance. Oh, God Almighty. Somebody has been healed. Set free. The chains has been broken. Oh, God, church of God. Come on, man. Bless the name of Jesus. Walk to this altar and let's give to the man of God tonight. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Those who are online, you're welcome to give as well. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, I believe you for Coralie Hines. Lord, I believe you for Annette. Jesus, have mercy. No, 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 no. Believe your God. The deliverance has come. Jesus passed through 213th Street and somebody touched the hem of his garment tonight. Deliverance has come. Bless the name of the Lord. Are you still coming? Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Yes. Glory, glory. Praise God. Praise God. If you feel like worshiping, you know, just go on, man. Church, not done yet, you know, we can start again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe God. I believe God. Ask him what it will and it shall be done. Trust and obey. Just when you pray. I believe, I believe God. Oh, I believe God, I believe God. Ask Him what He will and it shall be done. Trust and obey when you say, I believe, I believe God. I know some people are leaving at this time, but a refreshment has been prepared for you. Bless the name of the Lord. If you want refreshment, one representative from your church or yourself, if you're by yourself, can just go down this door here. 
and you will exit. So take your stuff. There is an exit there for you and you will exit there. So you won't have to come back this way. Pastors, you will be served. So you, no need to go. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can I have three shouts of hallelujah? hallelujah? One more time. Another time. Bless the name of the Lord. Are you having a good time in crusade? Do we need an extra week? All right, we go talk to Bishop. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. I still think he has an extra week of preaching in him. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Ask him what it will and it shall be done. Trust and obey. Then you will say, I believe, I believe God. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. Ask him what it will and it shall be done. Trust and obey. that you bless this offering that your people have stretched forth to bless the man of God. We pray God that it will be a blessing to his life and so almighty God we ask that as we go from here tonight that you will go with us sanctify us, protect us God cover us under your blood and bring us, up, bring us back here tomorrow night charged and ready to feast some more at the table in Jesus name we pray, amen God bless you, food downstairs <laughs>